Hey y'all, it's Charlotte from the Hartzell Homestead back with you on the Creative Retreat Kids YouTube channel with the June release, Kinsman Redeemer. I have done a Bible entry uh, shared with you earlier in the month and I have, I wanted to show you real quick, I completed the um, scripture writing that I do, um, usually the first full week that we have a kit and I um, just embellished my pages with stickers and that has inspired uh, what I'm going to do for my reflection. I'm going to um, work on reflection number four, journaling a prayer, praising the Lord for his providence and his redemptive grace. And I am going to just play with some more sticker paper. Now, I filled up an entire page with these beautiful florals, um, a title, and then I used my Sizzix and uh, Tim Holtz uh, it's a large uh, die that has this mixed font on it. And so I wanted that to be my focal point in the middle of my reflection pages. And I'm going to be working in my um, creative journal here in just a little bit to do that reflection prayer. So I wanted to kind of give you a quick glimpse at my weekly spread because I did not do that on the video this month. I did a, a Bible entry instead. And I'm going to go ahead and put us on fast forward and get started. Okay, now let's get to work here on this. After removing the two pages uh, that I want to work on from my journal, I take a minute to place a kit sticker, if you will, on the first page of um, this little journal. I'm creating kind of a collage of kit stickers or titles from each of the um, Creative Retreat kits that I'm working on in this journal, just like I do inside the cover of my journaling Bible. And um, so if I if there isn't one that really looks like a kit sticker, I either take one of the uh, cardstock stickers and make a note or take an element like I did here. Um, and I just copied this image from the Faithfield Digitals and put it twice onto the clear sticker paper because I'm going to use another one later. I've actually made it three times because I put it in my scripture writing, too. And that's really the fun part of the Faithful Digitals is that if you find a, an element you really like or you want to use it multiple times, you can continue to make yourself some copies for all the different um, places you want to use them. Now for my background here, I decided to do something completely different from the uh, geometric pattern entries that I've been gravitating toward. Sometimes I notice a pattern in my creative style across my entries from my Bible to my scripture writing uh, planner my reflection entries and, and such. And when I see that, I make myself do something totally different uh, just to give myself a creative challenge and really give myself some time to enjoy some creative play. No really pre-planning <laughs> to this. Um, and so and sometimes it turns out great. And sometimes it's like, uh, I need some work. Um, but uh, that's this is really when I try to uh, do something that I've not done before or I uh, mix up a style uh, that I've seen some other people use, but I haven't tried it myself. Um, just have some creative freedom. Here I'm going to use the um, paint scrape technique where you just put a little bit of paint across a uh, card, scraping card, and I'm just using an old hotel card, key card here. Um, and in doing this, it's very easy to do, but it's completely random. It's an unpatterned beginning. You really can't you know, determine how thick, how wide, how th there's just really no, um, perfection to this, I guess is really what I'm going for. Um, I also pull out a texture stamp from Tapestry of Grace and I stamp it here and there all around, um, the two page spread using the Creative Retreat pomegranate ink pad. Um, hoping for something very abstract, uh, from using uh, these mixed media pieces. And so I do first generation, second generation stamps. I do uh, partial stamps, you know, full stamps, just completely random across the page. And um, mixed media is something I want to play with more so that I can learn more about the different supplies that I have and how they work together. Um, and you really only learn by experimenting. And so that's what I'm having fun with today. I did go ahead and fussy cut my floral elements um, before sitting down to do this entry. Just to save some time, I uh, printed a full sheet on clear sticker paper, uh, not knowing really how many I would want or need to use. 
And uh, my plan is to use um, as many as I think look okay around the two pages to create a border, kind of framing in where I'm going to put a big title. Um, and I know these florals are, I love them, and I've used them a couple times already, and so if I have extras, I will use them again later. Um, I've mentioned before, when I pull up my Faith Field Digitals, I don't just send the whole thing to the printer because I don't want to have, um, you know, a limited number. I don't want to print something I'm not going to use. Um, so I kind of go into an editing program and just copy paste onto a new page. And you could do that in a number of different programs on your iPad, on your computer and apps, uh, a lot of places. Use one that you're familiar with and kind of play with that. Um, I did mention before that I used a die to uh, cut out these letters that go into my center title. And I checked the side of it real quick for the name. It is the Tim Holtz Alterations Wordplay die. And I just ran it through my Sizzix. I've, I've used it several times because it makes for a quick bold title or a quick margin entry. And I really like the mixed font. Um, I've used the pattern swatches again from the Faithful Digitals this month and just mixed up the patterns across the title. It took me a couple of times moving the letters around so that I didn't look like I had some repetition. I wanted it to look uh, completely random. So I, I had some fun playing with that. Um, when we have a reflection prompt to journal a prayer, most of the time while I'm creating my entry, my mind is praying, thinking on the study, thinking on what we've learned, um, how I want to record it in writing. I am not usually a lengthy, wordy writer in my entries. I usually jot down key points, key words, uh, which will jog my memory later when I go back to review something. But um, I just kind of think about how I want to incorporate uh, my written words around my title. Um, there are so many worship songs and hymns on the topic of being redeemed, and I really, really thought about bringing in some of the lyrics, uh, you know, printing out some excerpts, uh, making some copies, and then incorporating them into the mixed media. And I didn't do that, but I may come back and do it later. I think I've shared before that it is not uncommon for me to sit down, do an entry, and stop when I think I'm finished, and stop when I think I'm, you know, happy with it, and then come back another day, and I open it up, and I go, oh, there's a hole. Oh, I could add this, or I could do that, and I think that's really kind of a fun part of collage art and mixed media is that it's a layering and building process, and um, your eyes may see something later that you didn't see today, uh, because you just kind of overlook. And I think it's fine. It's fun. It's just part of it. Uh, redeemed. I wanted to use redeemed in my title because I think it is such a beautiful word. Um, I feel like it is our reminder that we have been saved. We have been delivered. We have been brought back from sin. Uh, we've been recovered. I love re words. I've done a lot of different studies on re words. Uh, because I feel like they tell us that we get a second chance. We get a redo. Uh, because of Jesus, we have a second chance. Uh, we can have life, and we can have freedom from sin. Um, the written words around my lettered title read, Father, because of you, I am redeemed. You are my kin's redeem redeemer because you sent your son to pay for my sins. Um, those are the, the thoughts in my prayer in my head. I can have a new life in him because he paid the price for me. And so this is just a way for me to, to jot that down, to record that, uh, leave a little bit of my heart in my art and, um, and just reflect on it a little bit today. I have really enjoyed sharing my messy mixed media pages with you today. And I have really enjoyed um, this month's study as we work through Kinsman Redeemer. If you have not picked up a kit, it is not too late. You can either go to get a physical kit. You can uh, pick up uh, the digital. If you are really not ready to even do a lot of creative entries, these devotionals you can go and print off a devotional and really go into doing the study. You can put them in a journal and, and do uh, writing reflections. You don't have to do art reflections. Do whatever works for you and connects you 
to God's Word and uh, offers you growth in Him. It's really been a wonderful study. I love to be able to study a familiar passage and uh, be shown some new insights and uh, have some growth from it and really connect with it um, again and in a different way. Uh, there is a link in my uh, bio below if you need to go pick up anything so that you can join us. Um, looking forward to seeing what everybody does. And, and you can always share it on social media and tag Creative Retreats and Danielle shares so that we can all see and um, enjoy being part of the community together. I hope y'all have a blessed day.